Okay, Charles up along here, and uh, I don't want to really go to do what I'm gonna do. Hi, I'm not talking to myself here, talking to a camera here. So, I mean, here in New Brunswick, we have no lawyers. Uh, the working poor and people the less fortunate you know when the system goes against you you can't fight back it's impossible okay I have a blog uh, they shut down my blog we, we know what, what happened uh, hello they uh, turn around they uh, falsely they raided my place and we know we know the, the story um, Rob Castello, the cop that was shot dead, God bless his soul. This thing here, it says here from the Fredericton Police, I detected Rob Castello, oh, the cops are coming. Rob Castello, a peace, hey, a peace officer, the Fredericton Police Force, appointed, appointed, okay, I'm getting distracted here. I am conducting a criminal investigation relating to a child sexual exploitation offense. Okay, and the cops are going by. So, there is a friend of police accused, raided my place, accused me of exploiting children for sex. Now, if it would have been the son of a bureaucrat or somebody, you know, there would have been hell to pay. It would have been in Quebec or Ontario there would be lawyers, civil rights, and really, really fight this issue. So, this is going to be a long one. Uh, we know I put this uh, lawsuit on my own, with some help of some people. And uh, when, it, when it came to the hearing, uh, Paulette, Paulette Garnett, her name, the, uh, the hearing was going to be on a Thursday. And the week before, the Fredericton police, with the Edmiston police, grab me, go, go to uh, YouTube, write Edmiston police and Charles LeBlanc. Are they coming here now? So, I'm getting distracted. Come on, hurry up. Ambulance. So, I turn around, I put a lawsuit. Uh, they want to be charged under uh, the criminal code 300. That's five years in jail. So they wanted me charged under the criminal code. So five years in jail. So I had my hearing. I couldn't say anything because they had some people from the attorney general office in there waiting for me to criminate myself. Is that the word? And then they would have took from the hearing to continue to find out there's enough for me to be charged and have five, get five years in jail. I didn't say nothing during the hearing, didn't say nothing at all. I said anything I say will be held against me. We have people from the Attorney General office right here in the courtroom. I, uh, police officer testified, testified, testified. Me, I didn't say nothing. At the end, Pauline, uh, Judge Pauline Garnett decided, said, and her fastest decision she ever made in about uh, four or five days uh, said that I that I have to pay court costs for it was three four five thousand dollars to the city of Fredericton. Now, when I appeal it, who shows up? I went over McGemmis Cooper, and when I went over McGemmis Cooper, I gave a copy to a lawyer named Richard Scott. Richard Scott, I found out afterward, he was quite, quite a lawyer. He was way up there. And then I went, the last day of the appeal, uh, for me a chance to appeal, I went to the registrar, registrar, registered for whatever office, and said, boy, there's not a racket here, uh, and put my appeal in. Richard Scott shows up right at, in the office, and he was so upset that I would even think of appealing this. So I told him, I, I shook his hand in court, and I told him, I said, listen, when I shook your hand, I'm taking that back. He goes, oh, I don't care. He was an elitist. I won't say a racist, but pretty damn close. So I, he, he was like this in, in the registrar office. I want this, I want that. I want the number code. He know I couldn't get everything. So he, I never had the chance to appeal. 
I immediately put a complaint to the appeal judge, Mark Radishaw. He he replied to me. He says, next time we'll do things. Uh, we'll try to do things better. Oh, next time. Thank you very much. So, what am I doing? This is very simple. Friday, I turn around. I receive an email from McGinnis Cooper. Told me to go in their office to pick up a package. Would it be a package from idiot mayor Michael? Oh, by the way, and he wants to justify that I'm a pedophile. Yeah, right. Anyway, we should look at him first. Anyway, I'm not saying he's a pedophile. We should look at his computer. Uh, they want me in the office. They said there's a package in our office. Oh, okay. There's a package in the office. I was going to reply to them. I know what it is. Well, we want. We hey, we want our four thousand dollars, five thousand dollars from from you to pay for the court costs. I mean, this is elitist. So, you know what? Wine is good for you. Somebody give me a bottle of wine. I was gonna reply to them. And then I started drinking that bottle of wine that was in the fridge for about two weeks. Wine is a brain opener. I said to myself, I never replied to their email. So what I'm gonna do is show up there. I'm gonna show up at the Jimmy Cooper and I'm gonna I'm gonna stay calm. Okay, I had one large double double. I have no weapon on me. Uh, see, when you film like this, you can't you can't go in a private uh, property and start filming. I know that. But they but here they invited me. What I want, this Richard Scott. Oh, by the way, he took a heart attack and died about uh, about a few weeks after I put put the complaint in. Uh, Richard Scott invaded my privacy. When I tried to do stuff, even the staff at the registrar's office told him, get away, get away, and he wouldn't listen at all. So what happens is this. What happened is very, very simple. They, his job was to make sure that I was, I was done and all that. So under the Privacy Act, the Privacy Act are there to protect the government. The Privacy Act is not there to protect people like me. But under the Privacy Act, or the Privacy Law, whatever you want to call it, he really invaded, I, I couldn't do anything. So what I'm going to do, we're going to, well, me, that's one thing I love about me. If I'm drunk, I say I, I come up with an idea, which I did. That's why we're doing this when I was drinking the wine. I, I act on it. And what we're going to do is trying to get some answers and who's in charge i know why they want why they want me there because they want me to pick up a package and i presume like i said it's just a package to say eight minutes this is way too long i'm sorry i had to explain so what happened hello so what happens you have to explain just doing a rant here i'm not talking to the camera here so we're going to walk in there and we're going to find out if we could talk to somebody and try to get some answers and maybe they could investigate and find out who, uh, why were they allowed to invade my privacy. Uh, we can't get no answers. The police, the, the police might be called. That will be maybe maybe a, a bonus because uh, they're the one that falsely accused me to be a pedophile, and they came after me for that since I filmed the soldier and uh, the soldier and uh, Stafford and all that. So I'm getting a little bit anxious. But something like this, we have to stay calm. We can't get excited. I have no weapon on me. We have to stay calm. We just want some answers. Will we get answers? Am I gonna get the snob treatment? What's gonna happen? That's the question. But you have to fight for issues that you believe that's not right. So for they invited me here. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna show up. And I hope everything's gonna fine. I'm gonna stay. I'm going to stay calm. I'm not going to get excited. There's no need to get excited. I just want answers on how I could go. That 
Richard Scott that's now dead. What can I do to make a complaint that I wasn't treated? How you doing? Receptionists are good people. I really feel, I really feel bad for them to be involved in this. But. Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm all right. Nothing to worry about. I'm all right. No, uh, no weapon or nothing. Okay. Uh, my name is Lebron Charles. Oh, I have that. Uh, can I talk to somebody in charge? Um. Yep. Before I get the packet, if if you don't mind. Uh, if you could just have a seat. Yep, that'll be here, it's all right. Thanks. Scheduled to be here June 11th. The city will be seeking an amount of water to in summary judgment against you. Please note, you have until June 7th to serve. This is funny. This is hilarious. Hello. Is anybody, is anybody helping you? No, somebody's coming out. Okay. There's no one available right now. Okay. Um, it's alright, I'll stick around. So here we are with this uh, police find and close. So we don't know what's going on really. Uh, please find and close. I'm not sure. Pardon? He's not. Okay. Romance is not in there. Uh, the city will be seeking other things. The city will be seeking other things. What other things can they get? Uh, judgment against you. So really, so the city, Richard Scott, that used to be here, he's the one, he turned around and invaded my privacy. And so next thing you know, the city gets this. I gotta stay calm. Just getting a little bit in here. Just stay calm. Everything's fine. Well, so, I don't really know what's going on. Emotion. See that there? So, like I said, less fortunate when it comes to less fortunate. Or, see, that's where the privacy, the privacy issue, the privacy law. And we just want some, some answers. But what they do, you have lawyers together with politicians and courts. And then they want to talk to you via the courts. And you can't speak logger, legal logger language. So what do you do? So to sit down around the table and discuss what happened to you, you know, they don't do that. But they'll turn around. I don't even know what this is. Don't have a clue. But I think they have to deliver by sheriff. And that's what it is. And that's what happened. So what do you do? So how's your day? Good. Good. What can we do for you? How are we doing? Good. I'm oh, Jamie by the way, Conley. you're on camera. What's your name? Jamie Conley. I'm the lead office partner here in the office. Oh, yeah? Um, my name, oh, I'm sorry, my name is Bob Charles yeah. and uh, what happened was I received a note, uh, an email on Friday and to come here, so I was invited here and I didn't know what was going on and it says here that you want to see me in court and the last time I came here, do you remember, uh, what's his name, um, Richard Scott? This doesn't say anything about coming here. No, no, I got a new call. Are you calling? You call. <laughs> this doesn't say anything about coming here. You're not invited to come here. I have it. I had an email. 
and told me to come and pick up a package. Is that and did, is that what you're doing today? That's what I'm doing. Okay. Well, you said that. But I'm asking. I think so. But I'm asking. Was he picking this up? Yes, for my email. So okay. they invited me over, and I came under social. Why are you, why are you taking everything? Because I want to make sure that the public knows what's going on. So I mean, you come. I come this here. is a private law office. You invited me here. You're, you're, you're invited here. To, I'm not going to argue with you. No, 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 we have not. your document, and that's all. That's the only business we have here. No, what I want to know, the last time I came here, uh, there was a lawyer, Richard Scott, God bless his soul. Uh, I dropped some package, and I showed up over the registrar office, and he showed up. And I couldn't finish my appeal. We put a complaint to uh, Judge uh, Mack. Richard, sorry, I can't talk your language. You're a lawyer. You speak a different language. I could parle français, but pas de français? No. No. Okay. I'm never right to speak French, but sorry. I won't, I won't do that. So what happened, Richard Scott, uh, we put a complaint. He said, things are going to do better. Uh, things are going to work a little bit better. I'm sorry, a little bit uh, ADHD here. So what I'm saying, under the Privacy Act, he invaded. I could, he was really, we had witnesses in the registrar office. I couldn't finish my appeal. So, under the Privacy Act, isn't that against the law to uh, invade somebody? I couldn't do nothing on the last day of the appeal. And Richard Scott is not here to defend himself because he's dead. So, the complaint that I'm saying, under, I would like to put a complaint under the privacy law. How do I do that? We're not your lawyers and we won't be advising you. So, uh, that's up to you how, if you want to do that, to go and seek appropriate advice or figure it out yourself, but we're not representing you, so no. we're not going to advise you on anything. Uh, wouldn't this be, didn't you break the law, your law firm, to invade what I was doing in the registered office? That's, I'm not answering any of your questions, and we're not advising you. But you are inviting me here. You've been, you've been asked to pick up a document, you have yeah. it, you should take it and leave. No, but I want to know. I the documents. I wasn't treated properly. I didn't have a proper uh, case in court because of this Richard Scott guy. So I like to know what I could do to put a complaint for the privacy law. We're not advising you, uh, Mr. Long, and we won't be. So okay. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't help. Why don't you call the police? and then we'll, maybe they could help us. What would be the point of that? Because maybe they would it could advise me what to do because I think this is a very bad, bad issues and you people are really pushing it really more. There's other issues here it says. You have, it says here, summary judgment against you, pre-hearing brief after David the 10th. Pursuant, what they say there? Sorry about that. Seeking among other things. We'll be seeking among other things. So I don't know if there's other issues. Could you get the police and then we'll find out what the other issues are? I don't think that's necessary. Come on. I think you should just leave with your document and seek police. whatever counsel you would like to have. Call the police. If there says other issue, I'd like to know what it is. So could you call the police and then maybe they could investigate why Richard Scott went and You're free to call the police, Mr. I don't have, sorry, I'm on social assistance. I don't have a phone. Well, so. there, you can walk down to the end of Queen Street in five minutes and talk to them. No, 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 no. We've got we to do it. We've got, we got to find out what's going on. If the police wants to meet in court in June, I have the right to find out why. All right? I'm not advising you of any of your rights. No, because I don't have the money. Make it a scooper. By the way, yeah, that's what it is. Get the school. Um, so, how can we get to the point to get the police involved? You're free to involve them if you wish. Can there's you call no, the police? There's, uh, there's no need of calling the police here. This involves the police are falsely accusing me of exploiting children for sex. Okay? We have it right here. I have no knowledge of that, and, I, no don't, and I don't want any knowledge of it. Another one, Detective Rob Castello, God bless his soul, dead. I, Detective Rob Castello, a peace officer of the Franklin Police Force. This is your law firm that's supporting this. I am conducting a criminal investigation relating to a child sexual exploitation offense. Said I was exploiting children for sex. 
And then your law firm wants me to come here, pick up a package. This is the police. What are we going to do here? I'm hoping that you'll take your package that's addressed to you and uh, take it with you. Well, that's not going to happen until we get the police here. Do we got to do like QP? Do we have to sit down? And, uh... The man doesn't have ADHD. He could just lay back and relax. No problem. What is this? Do I play poker? I think your business here is finished, Mr. LeBlanc. Uh, I, I think you, you should leave the office. There's nothing else you to do here. You invited me here. You invited me here. You think I'll come here with a camera if you didn't invite me over? What am I supposed to do? Gotta taste some Ritalin. I'm asking you again. How much time do you have today, Mr. Blanc? Oh, I got lots of time. Okay, so do I. Good. That's it. Okay. Maybe by the, you could explain to me why you invited me over. Your client invited me over. We have no obligation to explain to you anything. Well, look, it's all there. We have an envelope with a package for you that's, uh, we, that you're here to pick up. That's all. And all language. If you'd like us to mail it, we will mail it to you. But it's all language. You have, you have an address, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so if you prefer, I'll, mail, I'll, I'll take this back and I'll have it delivered. In fact, I'll have it delivered by courier. I'm sure you will. If you'd like that. I'm sure I'd like to get some answers on why would you send me a package of a language that us normal New Brunswickers can't understand. Don't know what's going on. So uh, what is this all about? We're not here for me to answer any questions. We're, no, no, no. The reason you're here, uh, I understand, because you've told me, is to pick this package up mm -hmm. that you were invited to pick up. And that's the extent of all that's going to happen here today. So we're not going to get the police to find out how you people were allowed to go in the registrar's office and really stop me from doing my duty as to f serve papers on uh, this Richard Scott. Richard, Richard Scott? Or Scott, Richard Scott just flipped out, flipped out, screaming, everything. You think that's right for McKinnis Cooper to a law firm to do actions like that. And we all know there's five sides to every story, right? I'll say again, I have no knowledge of any of that. And uh, that's not, we th put there's no, we're not talking about any of that here. Th we, that's not the purpose of you being here. The purpose of you being here apparently yeah. is for you to pick that package up and leave. But it says, among other things, what are the other things? Are you guys going to again uh, justify that I'm a pedophile or is it other cops, is it uh, the mayor, what, you know, what other things? Don't I have the right to know? I don't, I'm not here to advise you of your rights and I'm not going to. We don't represent you. No, you don't. I don't think, I don't, I, I don't have the money. Again, we don't have the money for a big law firm like you people. Oh, by the way, speaking of that, I thought you people were for the civil rights, uh, civic people, what do you call them? Civil Rights Association. You were supposed to fight for people's rights. You wouldn't know what I'm talking about. That's all right. Let's focus. Let's focus on this. So you're not going to tell me what the other things are? I'm not advising you. I'm not, I'm not here to give you information. I'm here because I was asked to come out because you were standing in our lobby filming. And the only purpose of you being here is to pick up that package and take it with you and leave. So how, how come you guys don't deliver like they get they do to a, a sheriff for... They don't do that anymore? You just have people come in here? And I just said a minute ago, if you'd prefer to have this mailed to you, we'd be happy to do that. Well, I'm not going to say that because I can't read what it means by other things. Now, what is this? Is this, uh, what court is it? What is it? What, what's that? Rules? 
what's that? What's all that about? Can you explain me that? I'm not here to explain anything. Well, you sent it to me. You a lawyer? Can you read it to me and explain to me what it means? I'm not here to explain anything. I'm here to to see you pick that package up and take it with you if that's what you want to do. If you want to leave without it, you're, that's fine. If you tell me to mail it to you, I will. If you tell me to send it by courier, I'll send it by courier. And if you're home, you can get it by courier. And I presume after all this, we're going to have top lawyers. Oh, that's right. That's right. I did a video about your employee, Richard Scott, after he took a heart attack and the media praised him. And I condemned him. Oh, this is what this is all about. So, we, do we have lawyers from Toronto doing this? See, you, you have to tell me. I don't have, you don't to, have to tell me nothing. I don't have to tell you anything. I'm not going to. So, why are we going to court? I'm sure whatever this is about, you know a lot more about it than I do. No, I don't. Or, I don't. All right, then you should take that, go home and read the material. And then you'll, you'll you'll know what that's about to but the extent that you can. But it's, it's exactly to the extent. But I don't understand lawyer talk. How am I supposed to understand this? That's something you're going to have to figure out. You always treat people with mental illness and less fortunate people like this. You're here, Mr. LeBlanc, to pick up a package that says on it, delivered by hand. The arrangement apparently was made, because I didn't make it, was that you would come here, pick up this package, and take it with you. you get people We're not here for anything else. We're not discussing anything else. And, and once you do that, then your, your, your presence here is no longer required or welcome. And if, on the other hand, if you would prefer to have that delivered in some other means, we will be happy to do that. I'll ask you one more time. I'm going to show up there. It's going to be lawyer talk. Now, how are we going to have the big Megan, Megan Miss Cooper, the whole shebang? About 10 lawyers, former politicians, or is this, is this just a way to send a message that people like me, that you falsely accuse to exploit children, will not be tolerated? Is that the message? There's no message other than what's in that material that you can, you're free to read. But I can't read. You should find somebody to help you read it if you can. Are you going to, can you send me a, a, an advisor that can translate? It's not our responsibility. It's not your responsibility. You're not our client. We don't represent you and we won't be advising you or providing you with any assistance. Not assistant, not at all. But in court, you will definitely say what you're going to say. In court, we will follow the rules of court and pursue the matter that we are engaged in in the court. So, are you going to be the? Are you going to be there so you could really talk to me? Take a deep breath. So you could talk to me, right calm in court. Is that what you're going to do? I don't like people smiling like, like that. It's a little scary. So, who's going to be in court? Do we know? The purpose of your visit here is to pick up this package, take it with you. If you don't want to take it with you, we'll have it delivered to you. Your blood pressure is starting to go up. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I will, uh, you could deliver it. I'm not going to accept it because I can't read what it says. And uh, we'll put this online to show how um, like Ms. Cooper can handle people in the social system. No hard feeling. Sorry you got caught. How's, how, how's your how's your Monday morning? No hard feeling. No, none at all. None at all. No problem. I expected the police, but no police. Would have been more fun with the police. Sorry about that. No problem. Okay. Okay, sir. See you later. All right. Okay, so 29 minutes, got to go to court.
other issues, what other issues, I don't know. Uh, <coughs> the steering wheel, oh my God. But anyway, so I'll go over, they'll be delivering that. Other issues, I don't know. Uh, I think Richard Scott, that I, I think we have high powerful lawyers that's really coming hard on me and we have no lawyers to defend ourselves. I don't know, I just don't have a clue. I know what happens. See, that's another thing. This, this film here, that means they know what my argument is going to be and that's exactly it's going to be my argument because I'm a hundred percent right. And Mark Richard said, the judge, uh, he, you know, he, 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 he felt bad what happened and he says, next time we'll do better. So next time, what they say, June 11th, boy, I tell you, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a very intimidating thing, but what do you do? What do you do when the system turns a, a, against you? And the system goes, I wish the cops, I wish they would have called the cops immediately. That would have been fun. Because the cops, the first and police are the one that said I was, they will bring that up again on June 11th because we never had a hearing. This is corruption. Uh, hey, this is corruption. This is really, really, really bad. And, uh, we can't get a lawyer. It's a beautiful day in Fredericton. Gotta stay calm. And, uh, and I have another coffee. McDonald's shutting down Saturday. Oh, by the way, I'm happy on one thing. I said I was gonna do it, and I did but I never expected to be uh, <laughs> stared by uh, poker face. Ah, you gotta do what you gotta do. That's why this used to be brown. <laughs>